Hi, it's Iowa Prairie Girl. I'm here at Wilkinson Park on the first week in June. I've got here, you can see the bridge. Uh, you can see what a neat park this is. We're going to walk out into the tall grass prairie. Right now I'm starting out in the shade because on the first week of June it is uh, 80 degrees um, already by 10 o'clock in the morning and it gets pretty hot out there in the prairie where there's no shade. Um, I always imagine those pioneers were really tough that uh, were the settlers that walked across the prairie 100, 150 years ago. So we're going to look at yellow star grass. It is a early bloomer. It blooms between May and June and it blooms out in a prairie. It likes open areas, uh, sun to part shade. You might find it in an open woods or on the edge of a woods, but mostly you're going to find it um, in an open prairie. It only gets to be about six inches tall and it blooms early, so um, you're not going to find it later in the summer. Uh, once these other uh, taller grasses get going, it's down there and waits until the next, next spring to bloom again. So if you stick with me, I'm going to walk out in the prairie and we'll look at yellow star grass. you can see in front of me uh, this colony of yellow star flowers or star grass in front of me. They will grow in colonies. They do have a, a corm or a root system. Sometimes that corm the Native Americans used it to treat ulcers. But actually uh, I can't find a lot of information about what the yellow star grass was used for other than to treat ulcers and they also are Native Americans also used to make a tea from it to treat heart conditions. But as you can see, if you look down as you're walking through the prairie, you should be able to see these bright, brilliant, little yellow um, flowers that look like bright stars. Um, so they have six petals, that's what we're going to call them right now, and six stamens. Their leaf is looks like grass. You're not going to be able to identify it until it, until it blooms. Um, and that's about what it is. It's just a little yellow dainty flower um, down down in the prairie. You're going to have to, as you can see, just this grass here that's only about 12 inches tall has covered up the yellow star grass already. So it blooms, like I said, early in the spring and uh, just blooms through June and then it's going to be gone. So back to the petals. Um, they're actually not six petals. There are three petals and three sepals. And the sepal, if you remember, is that part of the flower that makes up the bud. And the sepal on the underside is, or the back side, is green. So if you flip one of these flowers over, it will look kind of uh, light, real light green on the back side. So there's six sepals and six petals. And that's a new term that I've learned, and that's called a tepal. So that's when you can't um, identify the difference between a sepal and a petal. It's called a tepal. And so that is what the yellow star flower is made out of. It's three petals and three sepals. And that's about all I really know about the yellow star flower. I did a lot of research on them. Um, there's really not a lot of information out there about them. I was hoping that there'd be some uh, wonderful folklore about them, you know, like when the yellow stars show up in the prairie, that that means something's going to happen. But uh, nothing like that. Just basically read the three same paragraphs over and over on every research um, Google or book that I found. But I do encourage you to get out and see the yellow star flowers. They are beautiful. They add a bright, uh, brilliant yellow to the prairie um, early in the spring. You might have to get down here like I am and uh, get down and explore the prairie on the ground level. And I hope while you're down there that you see something wonderful. This is Iowa Prairie Girl and Prairie Dog. Thanks for watching.